Surrounded by sea, Denmark is a water nation and its cities have always been reflecting that. But a shift from an industrial to a knowledge-based economy means that the cities are changing. Originally you, you, you were working in the city and then you moved out to the suburbs uh, to get all the, the other things that like, uh, human beings are looking for, like proximity to the green, uh, clean air. But with all these new te technologies and knowledge, we're actually capable of, uh, of creating a space that is not so pollutive anymore. So actually, uh, what is left of the city is creating new opportunities. As this is happening, Denmark, like the rest of the world, faces a changing climate. Nearly two years ago, we had a very, very heavy rain in Copenhagen, and the cost of this heavy rain was tremendous. It was uh, nearly one billion euro we were going to, to, to spend after this heavy uh, rain. And it gives us a picture of we are going to make the right development of our city to protect us against these uh, heavy uh, rains and the change in the climate. And uh, to make that very efficient and make the right uh, solutions, we have to have very close cooperation with the business and industry in the water sector and also with the research uh, and, and, and scientific uh, people from universities. Copenhagen's climate adaptation plan combines a focus on improving quality of life with the need to handle heavy rainfall. Here we have an opportunity to make the, our city more green, more blue, more interesting for the people, attracting uh, people from the other parts of the country, tourists and so on. And let's do it in a smart way so we can uh, use it for those heavy rainfalls also. The new plan rethought the city in a more holistic way. When you're looking at the Amar Strand Park, that is like a 10-year-old project, you clearly see the value of thinking forward in terms of recreational value. Even though Amma has traditionally been this place for housing developments or where we're having our airport, it actually, by, by introducing another kind of more recreational value thinking, it brings more value also to the, to the neighborhoods out there. Copenhagen's target is to handle 30% of rainwater locally. So we have, for the recent years, put a lot of the water down to, to sewers, and now we are doing the opposite. We're opening the sewers again and making sure that we have the, at least the rainwater as, as a resource in the, uh, in the urban areas. Kjeldes Quartier is this uh, densely populated uh, neighborhood uh, in Copenhagen on Østerbro. It's the first project that is going to combine the different technologies and capacities to secure an existing neighborhood in, in Copenhagen by reducing the water in our sewer system by 30%. Uh, that is going to uh, make our streetscapes 20% more green. That is going to uh, reduce the carbon uh, footprint um, as some kind of a, the area seeing as a, a, as a test bed. For, for a bigger area of Copenhagen. I think our strength lies in the more holistic approach, involving the, uh, the people that lives in the area in the process, uh, not only going for the very engineering solution, uh, the traditional engineering solution. It's important because you, you want to have people involved in the process. So when you are finished with the process, people have accepted that process, um, people are familiar with what's going to happen, they are not against the, the solution and also the problems that may arise, they can come up with some suggestions that actually can improve the solutions. Denmark has shown that better cities can come out of the need to deal with climate change. Many, many cities all over the world are looking to Copenhagen to learn from Copenhagen. The C40, with the 40 biggest cities in the world, have chosen Copenhagen as as a benchmark for all cities to, to make the right decision in a sustainable solution. So we try to give our colleagues in other cities around the world uh, the access to our green solutions, to our results, and show them what works and what doesn't when it comes to make the right decision in going green.